It's been more than a month since Benjamin Mitchell became the first victim in what police believe are a string of connected killings in Seminole Heights. This is video right here of a suspect police want to talk to. The community is on edge. So is everyone else really in the Tampa Bay area. And we brought in Tampa Police Department's new police chief, Brian Dugan, to join us this morning to talk about the search for this killer. Chief Dugan, thank you very much for joining us, first Good of all. Um, so I think it's safe to say we're all outraged over these senseless killings. First, is there any update in the investigation? Well, we have received over 3,600 tips since this began, and every day we get more and more. And, you know, it's a painstaking process. It's very slow and methodical to go through those tips. But, you know, what it does is it helps us eliminate people. And, you know, it's moving, but you know, I've said from the beginning, it's not moving as quickly as we need it to, to bring an end to all this. You know, we've got a couple questions that might, maybe you can tell us where we'll get closer to ending that. I, I, without jeopardizing the investigation, what can you tell me about whether there are undercover officers in the area? Well, we have people spread throughout. The, you know, we have, uh, you know, starting this weekend, we have more troopers from the Florida Highway Patrol showing up. And we have had, it's been an entire Bay Area, you know, effort from Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Galtieri to Sheriff Chad Cronister here in Hillsborough County. I've been dealing with Chad Cronister from day one. And so it's really, you know, the Tampa Police Department, we own it. It's our job. It's our investigation. But we have reached out. I mean, we've had F FBI and ATF involved since the beginning. And, and it's really a group effort of so many different agencies. I lived in London for about five years, and, and while I lived there, there are video cameras all over that city. It's actually very controversial. They're, they're constantly monitored. Uh, but, you know, because of privacy concerns, I'm wondering, I can't speak for all the people in the Seminole Heights community, but I would imagine that some might be willing to suspend some privacy issues until we catch this guy. Uh, have you thought about putting up cameras in a lot of different spots in Seminole Heights, and what would it take to do that? You know, that's a, that's a very expensive process, and we are looking at everything. And, you know, what I think what's important, though, this is a neighborhood in Southeast Seminole Heights that's not used to this type of crime. Mm. And they have been very cooperative. You know, when you look at 3,600 tips that are coming in, it's not from a lack of effort. It's not from the cops. It's not a lack of effort from the community. I think what it is is maybe somebody knows something and they just don't realize it and that's where we kind of stand with things and that's why you're asking people to look at the gate look at how this guy walks how, how yeah he... look, you know take a look at the posture look mm -hmm. at the body language you know everybody is kind of an amateur detective which is a, that's a good thing at this we point, need yeah. everyone to kind of put on their csi hat or whatever you want to call it and, and take a look at this stuff no yeah. uh, there were three openly gay men killed in the seminole heights area in december of last year january of this year initially Police believe that those killings might be related, uh, that victims may have met each other through an online dating app. In fact, I want to show you a composite sketch that Tampa Police Department released at the time. Um, first of all, this, this is what, what had come out, Chief, right here. Uh, first of all, have those murders been solved, and are you revisiting those cases now to see if maybe there might be some link there? I mean, the suspect here, black man wearing a hoodie, that's not that unusual. I wear hoodies all the time, but you know, is there any possible link and have you looked at that? Well, we don't think they're linked, but we have dug through every type of incident that's in related to this neighborhood. We're always looking to see if anything is uh, related as far as homicides, that type of thing. And we were very quick to link the uh, first two murders of Benjamin Mitchell and Monica Hoffa. And we were very quick to re let the public know more than what most departments like to do, but it became a public safety issue. And we put ourselves out there with, you know, basically a hunch and looking at the process and how close they were together, we said, you know what, these are related. Mm -hmm. And we believe all four of them are related, but we might be wrong. I hope I haven't created a panic and I'm wrong one day, but I think uh, our intentions are well and I'm pretty convinced that, that these are all related. I wouldn't want to create a panic out there if I didn't have the, the hunch and the information we have to go, hey, you know what, all four of these are related. But not related to those three killings that I mentioned earlier. Not related to those. Okay. We have not been able to link them at all. Okay. Uh, News Channel 8 is on your side, and we reached out to some of our viewers to get some questions for you this morning. I'd like to ask one. This one comes from Christian Osorio. He asks whether you have taken this video of the suspect to the local jails and prisons to see if possibly anyone there knows him. Perhaps this man's been incarcerated before. Yeah, we have uh, combed through every database out there. We look to see who has been recently released from prison, who is, you know, released from jail. 
and there's just numerous databases out there of criminals out there and and that's it it's a very slow process but yes we take a look at that but I mean have you showed that video specifically to people in local jails because they may have you know sometimes criminals run together perhaps they might notice him I don't know how much they're watching the news there yeah you know we have not done things like that but clearly they have you know TVs in the jail and so that that would that would be out there you know if you're in jail you're in prison you're, there's not a whole good chance you're going to cooperate with law enforcement. Mm, possibly. Well, I guess it's a, a good question, though. You met with the Hillsborough County NAACP this week. Um, one of the concerns raised by people there was a spike in the arrests of black and brown people in this community. Uh, I believe you said three times more than this same period last year. As the new police chief, how do you build trust in that community after what we saw with the, the biking while black controversy while at the same time maintaining the integrity of your investigation given that your lead suspect is a black man well I, I think you know we didn't know we had a black male suspect until just the other day when Ronald Felton was murdered so the arrests have tripled in that neighborhood but it doesn't matter what color you are you're being stopped you know I don't have the breakdown of who's been arrested but it's not targeting anyone that we're targeting anyone who's in that neighborhood we're gonna stop you and ask you now if you have a warrant for your arrest you're gonna get arrested if you roll through a stop sign we're gonna stop you we've asked our officers not to to ticket people it's more about finding out who's there who belongs there who doesn't belong there you know and it's just a, a very unfortunate process but we're not looking at what color you are we want to know why you're in there because we're going based upon video surveillance and witness testimony but we haven't rolled out anybody okay the florida highway patrol as you mentioned began assisting this week um, how many officers do you have dedicated to this area and how is this going to help you in terms of actual numbers well what it does is it it allows us to continue to protect the rest of the city you know I, we have a tremendous responsibility as a police department myself as the chief of police that we have to make sure all of our neighborhoods are safe and by the help that other agencies are providing us, it lets us maintain a heavy presence in Southeast Seminole Heights, but it lets us take care of the rest of the city, and it also helps alleviate overtime costs. These things can be, you know, quite intense and quite, you know, costly, and we have been very good stewards of taxpayer dollars, but, you know, the bottom line is we got to catch this guy, and Mayor Buckhorn's in on this full bore and you know he's told me you do what you got to do to catch this person we're going to respect people's rights but you know right now it's you know all hands on deck actual numbers though of officers in the area throughout the day yeah i don't have that but it, it fluctuates depending upon time and other needs but there, there's a heavy presence i think that's clear to see okay i know you don't know the answer to this question definitively but do you think that someone knows something and is withholding information a hundred thousand dollars now is the reward or is it just that because of the grainy video and and maybe a lack of information that that really no one knows them you know all I can do is speculate just like everybody else that it's out there is speculating I look I go on some hunches some you know educated guesses I question maybe a, a loved one or a family member might be holding back or there's someone who doesn't realize this I, I you know this is not a neighborhood where we have these kind of problems so I, I question whether someone just doesn't know it I really don't think there's someone covering for them. I question, like I said, unless it's in a loved one or a close associate, mm -hmm. I think at this point somebody would come forward if they have the information. Look, when you're getting 3,600 tips, people are helping. Yeah. Tampa Police Chief Brian Dugan, thank you so much for thank joining you. us this morning. Really appreciate that.